Hi, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television and more Hicksville happenings here. And once again, we are back at the corner of Maine and Arthur. The last time we were here, it was a vacant lot. We were talking with Stephanie Singer about the upcoming community rain garden. And as you can see behind me, uh, there's been some progress. And we're here for the second time today to talk more about this project. And Mark Schinninger is uh, joining us uh, this time around. How you doing, Mark? Good. Come on over here. Now, you're with Marking Outdoors and uh, you're uh, sort of volunteering, you're, you're, you're donating some man hours here uh, to, to help out. And before we talk a little bit about your business, because we want to give uh, give you a shout out for, for what you do, but uh, we wanted to, uh, again, touch up. We can see that you've got the heavy equipment out here. So bring us up to speed. What have you been up to the last couple of days out here at the corner? Uh, we've been putting in the tile from the downspouts. we got the tile hooked up to the downspouts. We're going to bring it out to the rain garden area where it can get filtered through the ground and through the plants. All right, so uh, this is uh, a, a pretty lengthy trench, I guess, uh, and uh, I guess this is one of the reasons why the, this location was chosen. This is a lot bigger than a lot of people's yards are going to be, so if people are going to incorporate this into their into their houses or whatever, they probably aren't going to have to go to quite the lengths that are, are going to be gone to here. Some places maybe, depending on their, their drainage, whatever, because this could be an average backyard. But uh, again, the whole point is to take the water that comes off of this garage, it was just going to be like the the typical garage you'll find all around through the village and instead of having it just run off and maybe cause some ponding or some flooding but you're going to try to get that water to go back into the watershed so uh, about how long have you been out here today uh, doing the doing the trenching and uh, getting the the drainage tile and everything put in uh, we got about a half day in today so far uh, we're going to be working in between the rains in the next couple <laughs> yeah. of days uh, Today we hope to have it all dug and uh, tomorrow it's supposed to rain and it may fill up with water tomorrow which would be fine and uh, we'll just pump it out and, and continue on the rest of the week. All right now and again this is just the first phase because once you have the, the drainage in place then the, the next thing that is going to be happening is uh, going to be the, the landscaping right which is another key factor for this rain garden. Yeah, we're going to be using all natives uh, in the rain garden and, and around the rain garden. Um, they're going to be, uh, you're not your typical looking plants, uh, it, the perception of them are, you know, not your normal landscape plants, but they're uh, very valuable plants uh, for the environment and uh, for what we're doing with the filtrating of water. Um, and they will fill in and get bushy and attract uh, the insects and hummingbirds and such that uh, we want. All right, terrific. Yeah, because I guess it's probably a good thing to remind people that really, I mean, we're standing here. This is in the midst of one of the largest drained swamps in the United States. Uh, this is the heart of the Great Black Swamp. So uh, the indigenous species are, are, are again, the, the type of plants that you would find in, in like wetland environments. Yeah, that, that's very true. Um, and the nice thing about the natives is uh, they are better on disease and, and growing and such like that because, well, they're supposed to be here. Yeah. We haven't cultivated them. So. All right, terrific. Now, uh, time frame as to, uh, again, I know the overall goal is to have everything hopefully finished by the end of this month. Uh, right. uh, weather, weather permitting it looking good that we'll be able to make that, uh, that deadline? I, I sure hope, I would think. Uh, there might be a few touch-up things here or there, some grass to be planted here or there uh, that may not be fit to do, but um, yeah, we're looking at the end of the month here. All right, yeah. terrific. And again, uh, once this is done, this is going to be a public area, so uh, anyone who wants to come by and view the rain garden, uh, maybe for some ideas for what they could do around their, their homestead, uh, is uh, that is what this is going to be here. It's a, a, a living, breathing example of, of how well this works. And again, this is a, a big push uh, to uh, try to help with the, the problems that we've had with the watershed, the, the flooding and the, the runoff and the agricultural difficulties and all of that. And this is just one part of the solution, but hopefully an important part. And the more people that participate in this, uh, the, the better. And really, uh, one of the goals we have of this is for people to see that it, it really is not that difficult a thing to do. Uh, no, it isn't. It's just uh, kind of an inverted uh, landscape bed. A lot of people put landscape beds that are above ground. And this is kind of a below ground landscape bed. And uh, 
you know, a lot of a lot of homes I've been around in condos, uh, they have washouts by the downspouts, and they complain about the mulch washing away, and you know, you, and then you get it into the basement, or you have the crawl space, and then, well, the solution uh, may be a rain garden where you, you capture it, you put it to a tile, and you and you get it far enough away from the house that you can actually benefit from it. Yeah. Um, and then if you if you do if you have a lot invested in flower beds and so forth that are right around the base of your house and the foundation of the structure, then you can help preserve those too by again getting that water out of there so you don't wash away any of the potting soil or the topsoil that you put down. That is correct. Uh, instead of having your sump pump pump it out of. Uh the perimeter tile around your footing, uh, you can get it away, but you don't necessarily, you know, uh, for a big while there, there was a push that a lot of people put it to the curb, and that's not, it's not real good because uh, as soon as it hits that asphalt, then it's immediately in our uh, um, drainage system, and when it's immediately in our drainage system, you have, like we had here the last few days, a bunch of flooding. So, yep. the, and, and again, that's another thing too that has been a big headache for a lot of the village residents that the the push. You know, you have to have the sewer separation yeah. with the storm sewers and and so forth. So again, it's it's just a it's a good way for everybody that uh, can. It's it's relatively easy and it's not that painful a process. And, and it and, and if a lot of people do a little to help out, it can have a, a pretty big positive effect. That is absolutely correct. Uh, the non permeable. Uh, uh, buildings that we put up where you know before it may have been grass or trees now it's a roof uh, all that surface area if it goes onto the asphalt it's immediately into the river system and uh, you know that that's why you have flooding. <laughs> yes, indeed. And of course, if you want to find out more, as we mentioned last time, go online, uh, www.landtolake.com. Uh, lots of information there about the, the rain garden, the philosophy behind it, the, the science behind it. So again, you can find out more online. And uh, Defiance County Soil and Water Conservation District, uh, contact them if you have any questions. Tell us a little bit about marking outdoors. So you mean, you're, you're donating your time and your equipment, so only right that we, uh, we give a little shout out to, to what you do for a living. Uh, I do landscape and uh, turf management. Um, I don't mow grass, but I will uh, renovate and install lawns. Uh, I do um, the nutrient programs for them uh, to alleviate the amount of fertilizer we need to put on, you know, the mm -hmm. uh, four R's um, so that, you know, the right time and such. Uh, I also do, well, landscape installs. Uh, now with this rain garden kick, I hope to be able to do a few of them. Garden, yeah. Yep, get get experience in that. And uh, paver patios, that's my other niche. Uh, I got background in paver patios, and, and I put those in also. All right, so again, uh, uh, give uh, Marking Outdoors a call if you have any uh, questions or want to find out. Uh, you give, I'm sure you come out and you'll be able to work over a person's place and give them an estimate, give them a quote, talk about what's the best solution for, for their for their landscape, what they're looking for. Yeah, uh, come out, uh, take a look, uh, come up with the ideas, the solutions. Uh, and sometimes I find out that they don't need landscaping yet. Sometimes they need drainage and, uh, you know, proper drainage like this. And, uh, and sometimes they need, um, sometimes their basement walls need help before they put landscape plants in. So if that's what's needed, that's what we do. Um, we take care of the customer for what their needs are. All right, terrific. So again, uh, Marking Outdoors is the group, and uh, Mark Schinninger is uh, here with us. Uh, and again, uh, they're they're working hard. They're taking a bit of a break here, which is probably good because it's getting to be the warm part of the day here. As again, they're they're cutting the trenches and they're putting in the uh, the drainage and the tiles. Uh, phase one of the construction of the rain garden, and then after that, again, the actual landscaping and the plants are going to be going in in the next uh, few weeks. It'll be kind of dependent upon the the weather as we've sort of. Got this monsoon type of afternoon storms that we've been dealing with and we're expecting for the next week or so. Uh, eventually, uh, too, there's going to be another sidewalk uh, placed in here on a, on an angle to sort of make a make a triangle here. So uh, it's uh, going to be a, a really a nice way you'll be able to take the walk on the sidewalk, which will take you right up to where the primary part of the rain garden is going to be, which will be located right here behind us. And again, the, uh, the shed in the background, which will stand in for any type of building you have on your property that you can again uh, hook the drainage up to a tiling system and make a rain garden of your own. So Mark, want to thank you for taking a little time out talking with us and letting us take a look at phase two and we'll look forward to coming back and uh, seeing uh, we're a little closer to completion and back here for the grand opening as well as our coverage for the community rain garden continues here on Hicks TV.